welcome you are welcome you are welcome welcome to life class with Ayum. i'm so excited to be with you today i thank god for another opportunity to be able to share the word of god with you so this is life class with Ayum. i'm here with you every 1 p.m uk time where i just bring the word of god with uh, to you briefly with in practical ways that you'll be able to apply it to your life so you are very very welcome today if you can hear me, if you can see me, just put say hello in the chat so that I will know that you are there. And if you need to give StreamYard permission to publish your comments, please do so. It's so good to be with you today. I'm excited this year has kicked off and we are already making progress. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Last week, I started a teaching on it's a new season. It's a new season. That is what I hear God saying in my spirit, and I shared it with you last week. So if you went, if you missed last week's teaching, you can still catch up with the video by visiting our, our, our ministry page, my Plan Your Game Ministry on Facebook, or by visiting my own personal timeline, AUM Ejiga, or you can also visit us on YouTube, my Plan Your Game Ministries. And while you are there, please subscribe to us on YouTube, on YouTube or like us on Facebook. And make sure you turn on the notification button when you subscribe so that anytime we upload a new video, you will be notified. Okay, so today we are speaking on it's a new season. It's a new season. And for my subtitle, you can call it Leave Yesterday Behind, Make Capacity for Today. Leave Yesterday Behind, Make Capacity for Today. When I say it's a new season, the season presents itself differently in the life of everyone. For somebody, they are stepping into a season that was so good, into a season that things are not maybe the way they used to be, and they need to make adjustments. And for many others, you are stepping in, you are stepping from a season that was difficult into a season that God is just going to be beginning to do great things in your life. But one thing I know is that whether the season that you are stepping into is a season that you like or not, God will still do great things in your life because that is the God that we serve. No matter the season of life that we are in, he's able to bring good out of it. So it's a new season. And when I say leave yesterday behind, it's because yesterday is gone. Yesteryear is gone, 2021, and the years before it are all gone. So you need to leave it behind and you need to make capacity for this year so that God can bless you. For some people, last year was awesome. They achieved great things. They had many open doors. They enjoyed many favor. They lived in good health. Things were happening so well around them and they were so excited. So for some people, they had a very fantastic year last year. But for some, last year may have been awful that you could not even wait to see it behind you. I remember I was speaking with somebody um, toward the end of last year and the person made a comment. He said, I can't wait to see the back of this year. And I was, in, I was intrigued because I was like, why, why would you say that? He said a lot of like painful things have happened this year. And he said he couldn't wait to see the back of this year. I don't know if you fall into that category that you couldn't wait to see the back of last year. The good thing is that yesterday is gone and it is a new season. I can see Madre saying, thank you, Lord. Praise God for that. Yes, it's a new season and we need to be grateful to God and we need to thank God for the season that we are in. And for some others, last year was just an okay year. It wasn't too fantastic and it wasn't too bad. You still had your job. You still had the normal things happening for you and nothing spectacular happened in your life. But the message I'm bringing to everybody, no matter the category that you fall into, whether you fall into the category of people that had a fantastic and awesome last year, or whether you fall into the category of people that had an awful last year, or whether you fa fa fall into the category of someone that had an okay last year, the good news is that yesterday is gone. Today is a new day. Yesteryear is gone. This year is a new year. And when, yesterday, when, when yesteryear or yesterday goes, 
He goes with all of its accomplishments. He goes with all of its pains. It also goes with the opportunities that it came with. Yes, maybe you had an opportunity last year and you are still enjoying that opportunity. But yes, that opportunity, the, the way it presented to you, itself to you last year is gone. And that is why you need to position yourself for the new season that we are in. We need to position ourselves for the new season that we are in so that we can get the most out of it. So one thing I've come to discover is that your success or your failure can hinder your progress today. And you'll be wondering, how can that be? Your success of yesteryear or of the years past can hinder your progress when you become complacent. When you be become so excited that you are not making new arrangements, you're not making capacity to develop yourself and step into new grounds and achieve greater things. So when you, when, you, when you were successful yesterday and you accomplished so many things, it can get into your head. You can continue to always tell the story forever that you don't see the new place that God is taking you to. And then your failure can also hinder you from seeing the opportunities that God has for you this year. Because each time you, you, you think of what you want to do, you think about how you failed in the past. You think about things that happened that were not so good to you in the past. And it stops you. It puts fear into you from stepping forward. But today I have come with a word of encouragement from God to let you know that it is a new season. And when God says it's a new season, all that he's asking from you is that come partner with me. My daughter, come and partner with me. My son, partner with me. Put your hands in my hand. I am the God of times and seasons. Remember that was the scripture I read to you last week. He said, I am the God of times and seasons. When you put your hand in my hand, I know how to bring the best out of this season that you are in in your life. And that is my prayer for you today, that you will partner with God. You will cooperate with him. You will put your hand in his hand, just like a child will put his hand or her hand in the parent's hand when they are maybe about to cross the road because they are stepping into a territory that the child is not familiar with or the child cannot do well by themselves. So it is a new season. And let us begin to live. Let us forget about yesterday and make capacity for today. I'm going to read um, um, to us from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 and 19. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. I tell you that I always get excited when I read the scriptures. And sometimes I don't even know which passage of the Bible is my favorite. Because when I read this, I say, oh, I love this. This is my favorite. And then I read another one again. I say, oh, this one is my favorite. But this scripture I'm going to read to you today is one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 and 19. It says, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the word of God to us. He said, remember not the former thing. That was what I just told you that. Forget about yesterday. If you were successful, thank God for it and just look forward to the new things that God has for you today. If you achieve so many things, look forward. There are still more grounds to conquer. Don't let that yesterday's success hold you behind. Don't get complacent because of what you have achieved. And if yesterday or, ye or, or last year was full with pains, Forget about it. God says, remember not the former things, whether they are good or they are bad. Forget about them so that you don't, they don't stop you from getting the things that I have for you in this season. That is what God is saying. He said, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. He said, behold, I am about to do a new thing. I don't know about you, but I'm, I, I am excited about the new thing that God is about to do. I know God is about to do a new thing in my life. He's about to do a new thing in my family. He's about to do a new thing in my ministry. And I know that God is also about to do a new thing in your life. And you need to get excited to that and, and begin to make capacity so I can receive that new thing. And the first step you, you take to receiving this new thing that God is about to do in your life is to forget yesterday. Forget yesterday. Forget yesterday. That is what God is saying. Forget yesterday, whether it be good or it be bad. I know some things have happened and it looks like the memory cannot be wiped out of your, out of your head. 
But just ask God for the grace to forget yesterday, especially forget the pains that came with yesterday. Pains have a way of paralyzing us and stopping us from stepping into where God wants us to go. It has a way of inciting fear in us that we cannot do the things that we, we need to do. But God is saying, forget not the former things. Forget, I mean, I mean, forget the former things. Remember not the former things. That is what God is saying. Remember not the former things. That means forget the former things. Don't consider the things of old because God is about to do a new thing. Praise the Lord. For somebody, God is about to turn your shame into glory. He's about to turn your pain into gain. He's about to bring benefits out of everything that you have suffered. He's about to bring restoration from the things that you have lost. He's about to put joy in your heart and laughter in your mouth. He's about to restore your smiles again. He said, yes, I am the God that makes a way in the wilderness. He said, I make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And that is what God will do in your life this year in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to believe God. I want you to take the word of God, but, 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 but just literally the way he's saying it. He said, I am about to do a new thing. If he cannot do it, he will not promise it. If God cannot do what he says he will do, he will not promise it. So if he says, I'm about to do a new thing, it's because he knows that he has the capacity to do that new thing. And all you, used to, all, all you need to do is to make room and receive that new thing. Praise the Lord. I'm just going to start winding up now. Remember, I said two things today. I say forget the former things and make capacity for the new. But today I've only been able to speak about forgetting the former things. Next week I'm going to speak more on how you can make capacity to receive the new thing that God is about to do this season. So I want you to make it a date with me. 1 p.m. UK time. Every Saturday I'm here to bring the word of God to you. So make it a date with me. Today, remember to forget the former things. As you step into the new week, as you go into this weekend and step into the new week, if you need to write a reminder for yourself, put a reminder on your phone, put a reminder on your screen saver, put a reminder, write it somewhere and put it on your fridge so that anytime you are being dragged back, anytime you want to make plans and, and take giant steps and the fear of, of your past failure is trying to cripple you, Look at that thing that you have written and say, forget the former things. Remember them no more because God is about to do a new thing in your life in Jesus' name. God is about to do a new thing in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to leave us with a quote before I go. The quote is by Taylor Swift. The quote says, this is a new year, a new beginning, and things will change. Praise the Lord. This is a new year, a new beginning, and things will change. And I want to let you know that things will change according to how you take the word of God. That scripture that I've just read to you in Isaiah 43, how you take it determines how things will change. If you accept that scripture and you decide to put the former things behind you, you will see things changing for good in your life. But if you don't accept that scripture and you hold on to the former things, you will see that things may not go the way you want them to go. So this is a new year. This is a new opportunity altogether again for you to fulfill those dreams in your heart, for you to fulfill that destiny that God has for you. And I believe that as you put your hands in the hands of God, God will make it happen for you in the name of Jesus Christ. So God bless you so much for joining me today. And if you are watching this broadcast, You've never given your life to Jesus Christ. I want to invite you to do so. There's no friend that sticks closer than Jesus. There's no brother that sticks closer than Jesus. There's no one that will understand you better than the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you are going through anything right now, and even when I'm saying it's a new season, you are finding it difficult to believe because when you look at your situation, you are wondering how can it be a new season? With everything that I'm going through, how can this be a new season? How can things change? But I want you to give your life to Jesus Christ. When he comes into your life, he steps also into every situation of your life. And he makes a difference. He definitely makes a difference. So you, you do that by just inviting him into your life as your Lord and Savior. 
by saying a simple prayer. So I'm going to just say this prayer right now and I want you to repeat after me. And if you say it sincerely from your heart, Jesus will come into your heart. He will forgive you your sins. He will wash away your sins. He will make you a new person. And above all, you will receive his peace and you will begin to enjoy the new and great things that he has in store for you. So if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, just say this simple prayer after me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I can't help myself. Lord, I ask that you please have mercy upon me. Please forgive me my sins. Come into my heart, Lord, and be my Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you so much for saying that prayer and congratulations. Because even though this prayer is simple, something profound has happened in your life. You've been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of, the, of his dear son, which is our Lord Jesus Christ, which is the kingdom of light. And I want you to begin to cherish and nourish this relationship by fellowshipping with God, by getting a Bible and begin to read it, by finding a Bible-believing church and joining them and worshiping. And as you do that, you see yourself growing in this your new, newfound faith. So God bless you. And for every other person that have joined me today, I want to pray for you as well. I pray that God will help you in this new season. I pray that the word of God will come to pass in your life in Jesus' name. Then just like God has declared that it's a new season, you will experience the newness of God in every area of your life in Jesus' name. I pray that the grace to put the past behind, you will receive right now in Jesus' name. Let God bestow upon you right now that grace to put the past behind. That grace to move beyond those pains and hurts that you have been through in your life. That grace to be able to accept the new things that God has for you. I pray for you to receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that whatever will make the dreams of your heart a reality in this new season that you are in, that God will connect you with them. God will provide them for you in Jesus' name. So once again, thank you so much for joining me and God bless you. And I will be with you again next week for another session of live class with AU. Until then, just stay blessed and God bless you. Bye.